Hello, hello. Welcome to Solara Reads. Thank you to all of you who joined recently. I'm a pretty new TikTok account, so I appreciate all of your likes, your comments, um, your sharing, your saves. Um, I love it and I'm, I'm here to help. So my readings are here to enlighten that which you already know, to bring confirmation to uh, the gut instincts you have and maybe to add a little bit more detail to pad out the story. I'm not here to introduce any energies of fear or information that you don't already kind of feel like you know. I want to put that disclaimer out there because tarot is here um, to confirm. It's not here to tell us how to live. So with that said, whoever this reading is for, I feel like uh, you've really come through onto the other side of something. Um, I feel like you've uh, discovered your own sense of value with this yin and yang card, number 22. It speaks of the balancing of your masculine and feminine energies or the balancing of your light and your dark energies. It is um, almost like, for me also, it's almost like uh, the the reaching the sun card in the tarot, the, the uh, complete reunion with all of the fragments of your soul. And because you've done this hard work of coming into balance, into union with self, this door to your value is opening. Now, as I read this card, what I'm getting is it's the door to value that's going to lead you to prosperity and abundance, but it's actually the value that you access by way of accessing your own truth and your own sense of value and your own place in the universe. So this is a beautiful energy. Um, I want to draw your attention to the 31, which is uh, on the door of value, and the yin and yang has a 22. Now, normally we don't break it down because it's a master number, right? But we are for the, the purposes of this reading because both of them are four. So you may be seeing four, four. You may be seeing two, two. Um, two, two is also the energy of having mastered a certain part of your life, okay? Um, it also could be, mean that you're about to enter a divine partnership or a union, okay? Everything is in balance for the next stage of uh, your new cycle, okay? Um, fours in tarot, or well, fours in general are energies of stability. They can speak of home life. Uh, your fourth house is ancestry. It's to do with um, mother energy also. Uh, either way, it's also a card, a uh, number of stability. There's some um, a very real stability entering where you lacked it before. And you lacked it before uh, due to root chakra blocks, attacks, or distortions. And at the very bottom of the deck, what we had was there was some kind of interference that was happening with a karmic sibling. This karmic sibling is showing up again in a reading. A lot of this uh, coming up for us to see right now so we know how to move on. Now, this karmic sibling um, was... <laughs> so we got two interesting cards coming out. So first, we have that they got into this blindly. They didn't know it would hurt you. But what my guides were showing me that somewhere along the lines, because this one came out right after, they may not have had all the info, but they still knew their choice would cause you pain. So this may have begun in naivete, but it ended in selfishness. So there came a point where this sibling may not have known what they were doing to you exactly, but there came a point when they made a choice, a conscious choice to continue because they were benefiting in some way. And now they can't believe that you are onto them. And the reason they know you're on to them is because you are coming into balance and whatever it is that they were doing to you was supposed to rob you of this balance hence the reason why there's a root uh, chakra block attack or distortion your root chakra de deals with your stability your home your ability to feel safe so if you have root chakra attacks you may have been dealing with um a lot of uh, fear it may have felt unfounded. You may have been attacked in your dreams and woken up suddenly with fear. Um, this, this is one of the many ways it's manifested. Um, with the root chakra block attack or distortion, you may not have been able to create stability for yourself, okay? With the root chakra block attack or distortion, you may have had real issues constantly happening in your home, like physical issues, in order to keep you ungrounded and unstable so you couldn't produce Produce, but you overcame that. And this is why this person is in shock, denial, and fear. Because the fact that you've overcome these blocks that they've put in your path means now that you know what they didn't want you to know. And not only that, but a lot of the time what happens with these energies is once you wake up and begin to heal and rise out of this shit, all the stuff they tried to throw on you gets put back on their path. So, 
Anyway, this is your reading. I hope it was helpful and insightful. I do do longer readings and some teaching videos on YouTube at Solara with an H Speaks. If you would like to order my services, you can always go to my website, Solara with an H dot info. But um, I hope that this was helpful and I will see you next time.